Roger Hill of Weathering Heights. Good late Monday afternoon to you. This weather video driven by 802cars.com representing 802 Toyota, Twin City Subaru, 802 Honda, all located off of exit 7 on Interstate 89. Here's our streak of snow that's moving into the region and uh, you can see it extends all the way back into the Great Lakes. So our temperatures uh, starting out uh, cold enough of course for snow but if we look down here we can see that there's uh, plenty of warm air, even temperatures in the 50s here across parts of Virginia, working your way north and northeast. And this is going to be the makings of our overrunning weather system, which is uh, still quite a ways back off to the west. Let's take a quick look at that. And this is where it's beginning to develop here with an area of low pressure and even some thunderstorms off the deep south. We'll take a look at some computer modeling. On this particular part of the storm, we can see the streak of snow that's developing here. This is uh, 7 o'clock this evening, 8, looks like 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, and 1 o'clock in the morning. We'll take it all the way. And this is through uh, 7 a.m., so roughly around 1 inch. But uh, this is going to coat area roads, and again, this is ahead of the next incoming weather system. Looking at the European model now, and you can see that streak of snow move on by. And then just as it moves on by, the next bit of precipitation catches up to it. Anything in the dashed red lines here is warm enough for rain, cold enough for snow. So incoming precipitation is going to be moving in as mixed precipitation types. This is the area of low pressure now tracking through uh, parts of central Quebec. And then it's out of here. And here's the progression of the snow moving through. This again, the European model showing precipitation type. Just as that begins to exit, we start to get into some mixed precipitation type. Now this is valid at 7 o'clock during the evening, so roughly after about 4, uh, 3 or 4 o'clock, we'll start to see this mix in, and some freezing rain will start to accrue north of the uh, Massachusetts Vermont uh, border in parts of uh, Bennington and Wyndham counties. And then you can see fairly quickly, a little quicker, and the modeling, this overspreads a little quicker uh, through, this is valid by 1 o'clock. So this is going to get in here probably during the uh, mid to late evening hours and continue to track through and then eventually switch over to rain. This is by 7 o'clock in the evening with 6 hour panels here. And it tails off with a little bit of snow shower activity. Okay, we're looking at uh, plain freezing rain concentrating on glazing amounts. This is valid by 7 o'clock in the evening, so already we have accrued somewhere between 2 and 3 tenths of an inch of precipitation, mostly near the southern uh, Vermont border. And then three, uh, six hours later, this is through 1 o'clock in the um, Wednesday morning, we can see the 6 tenths of an inch Killington area over toward uh, along the spine. Uh, once again, it's the southern Vermont counties that seem to be under the gun uh, with not a lot of model change. You might know, notice here that Champlain Valley is not an issue, and then off in the northern areas, parts of the White Mountains will not see freezing rain as temperatures will be too warm. And let's take a look at those temperatures. Give you the kind of indication here as to what's going on. Temperature is right at the freezing mark, right near the spine of the Green Mountains. And if we go back one six hour panel, you can see this is valid at 1 o'clock in the morning with temperatures already reaching close to 32 degrees at 1 o'clock in the morning in the Champlain Valley. Hence, not a lot of worries uh, east of the green, uh, west of the greens, uh, the Burlington Champlain Valley side, Rutland. And then the temperatures do get, uh, they do max out in the 40s even east of the greens. And this is uh, valid by 1 o'clock in the afternoon. This is a little bit cooler than from what it's been advertising. Quick look at uh, total 24-hour precipitation, a little bit over an inch, and these areas are going to be hardest hit. This will be a mix of wet snow, sleet, and freezing rain combination. And notice lesser amounts to the north. And we'll end on this note. This is a uh, valid uh, Tuesday evening at 7 p.m. The winds begin to pick up. There's along the western slopes of the spine of the Green Mountains, mostly at summit levels. Slightly uh, backs off. It looks like uh, 12Z. That would be 7 o'clock on Wednesday morning. And then a little bit of an increase with those westerly winds. And predominant areas of worry would be here. Once again, those same areas affected by the glazing. We'll see a west to southwesterly wind. 
wind direction from the west here. So this is uh, the next panel up. This is valid at 7 p.m. on Wednesday evening. And by that point, colder air is starting to move in and things should start to diminish pretty, pretty generally. And there it is. That's it from here. Roger Hill with Heights.